welcome to conversations with B. So today we're talking about the in between. And when I say the in between, I'm talking about that period of our lives where we just feel kind of stuck. That period of our lives where we just feel like we have to wait. You know where everything just feels beyond us. Everything just feels like it's huge. Everything just feels like it's out of control. It's that period where we don't really know what the next step is for us. We don't really know what's the next thing. We don't really know what's going on because we just have to wait. It's that period where you're totally out of control, where things are not really going as you thought they may be going or where things are not really working out how you thought they would be working out. And, you know, I'm not really here. I'm not here to give advice or a solution as to how best to work around the in-between but i really just want to talk about my experiences with the in-between period and some of the lessons that i've learned that have helped me overcome this in-between period without just allowing it to get the most of it without just allowing it to get the most of me to frustrate me or to depress me you know this is a period where so many of us get asked questions like why aren't you married why aren't you in school why haven't you finished school yet why aren't you working why haven't you started that business? It's that period where people just expect you to have it all figured out, but apparently maybe you do not have it all figured out and you do not even have answers for them because you're in the in-between. You're not so sure where you're headed. You're not so sure if something will work out. You're not so sure how something will end up. So personally, my in-between period has really taught me to be content because you know when you're in the in-between period, you realize that just because you started with other people doesn't mean you have to get to the next level with them you realize that life is life it gets messed up it gets mixed up things just don't always work out the way we expect them to work out so just because you started out with certain people it doesn't mean you have to get to the next phase with them just because they're all getting married it doesn't mean you have to get married just because they're all graduating it doesn't mean you have to graduate and maybe you're in the in-between period because of failure failure had you stuck in some place please get up push harder try again you know the in-between has taught me never to accept failure just because you are somewhere it doesn't mean you have to stay there give it another shot try something different if what you've been trying is not working but the in-between period has really taught me to be content with where i am who i am and to always never allow failure to get the most of me if i'm somewhere because of my own failures because of my own challenges because of my own mistakes i always choose to get up to try again to keep pushing to keep going never allow the in between to get you to a place where you're mentally stuck you might be stuck based on circumstances beyond your control but mentally physically emotionally psychologically spiritually do not get stuck just allow yourself to keep on hoping to keep on believing to keep on trusting that you will get out of that in-between period and another thing the in-between period has taught me is that life is not a competition as i mentioned earlier it has really taught me to be content with where i am and it has really helped me realize that life is not a competition so it's okay to be a little bit behind it's okay to be in the same place for a long time because we are all running a different race we might have started together but we are not in the same lane where you are right now is where you're supposed to be maintain your lane know yourself understand yourself understand how best to get to the next step but don't rush to the next phase of life because you're trying to compete with your peers you're trying to compete with the people that you started with Some Sometimes the in-between period is teaching you just to breathe and relax and just think, assess how best to get to the next stage, how best to get to the next place that you want to get to. The in-between will teach you to be humble. It will teach you to really be humble, you know, because realize that you are not in control. Just because you are ahead of someone doesn't mean they can't get ahead of you at some point in life. So it really teaches you to also be humble. It's teaching you to be content. It's teaching you not to be competitive. It's teaching you to be humble in life and to realize that we all have our race to run. We are not in other people's lanes. Therefore, we should focus on ourselves, how best we can get to the next stage. And another lesson that the in-between has really taught me is that I do not owe people an explanation. See, of course, I can't go about life just doing things and saying, it's my life, don't ask me questions, don't get in my business and whatnot. No, I'm not talking about that toxicity, but I'm talking about 
how the in-between has really just taught me to be okay with not owing people an explanation. You know, sometimes we rush to get to the next stage so that we can have an answer for people. Why aren't you in a relationship? Why aren't you married? Why aren't you doing that business? So you're doing something because you want to have a response for those people. You want to be able to tell them that you are in that relationship. You want to be able to tell them that you just got engaged. You want to be able to tell them that things are working. You want to prove a point. That's why you have to make that's why I'm doing certain things. But the in-between has really taught me never to do things just because I'm trying to prove a point. Never to do things just because I feel like I owe people an explanation. I feel like I owe certain people reasons as to why I am in that position where things don't seem to be moving. The in-between has really taught me to just be okay with not having an answer. You know, sometimes it's okay not to know. Like, why isn't this happening? I do not know. I'm trying my best to get there, but I'm not yet there. I do not know exactly how I will get there, but I trust that I will get there. And it's okay to not owe people an explanation. It's okay to not explain everything that you're going through to other people. It's okay not to explain everything that got you to where you are. It's okay not to owe people an explanation because it's your life. So those are really some of the lessons that I learned from the in-between. To really just be content, to be humble, to realize that life is not a competition. To realize that I don't owe everyone an explanation. I should really just focus on myself, focus on how best to get to the next stage, focus on rising after a failure, focus on even just taking time to sit back and relax. Because sometimes the in-between is just... A call for you to just reflect, breathe, refocus and reset. It's a call to just sit down and think, how have I come? How did I get to where I am and how best can I get to where I'm going to? What have I been doing wrong? Have I ruined relationships because I was in the first lane trying to get to the next stage? Have I ruined my family? relationship have i ruined my friendships have i ruined things along the way as i was trying to rush to the next stage the in between really just gets you to a place where you understand how you go to where you are because sometimes when everything is going well in your life you don't even realize that you've left certain people behind that you've destroyed certain relationships that you've destroyed your character and who you really are because you are such in a rush to just get things done you are such in a rush to just accomplish things but how often did you even take time to spend how often did you even spend time with the people that you loved? How often did you even just take time on self-care? How often did you just take time to just spend some quality time with yourself, getting to know yourself, building yourself, your spiritual life, and every aspect of your life? So the in-between will also just teach you to refocus, to teach you to just regain that consciousness of who you really are and where you're at right now and just breathe and look back and look forward and just take time to relax. So today's conversation was really just about the in-between. The in-between can be a really frustrating place to be. I know I have been in places in my life where I have to wait for the next stage. I have to wait for the next opportunity. I have to wait for something. But it's really a frustrating period if you allow it to be frustrating. It can be very depressing. It can be very annoying. That's why I really just wanted to talk about the in-between. I know I'm not here to offer any solutions or tell you how best to avoid the in-between because life is life. We all get to experience a wait. We all get to experience a delay. We all get to experience some sort of in between so really those are just some of the lessons that i learned thank you don't forget to like and subscribe